What's going on guys? So today I'm out here at Colonia Del Rey RV in Corpus Christi, Texas, and they just got this brand new floor plan in. This is a Solaire by Palomino. This is a travel trailer. It is absolutely beautiful inside. Relatively short. We're going to dive into this one because this has a really cool floor plan and I think you're going to like it. So hang tight. I'll be right back. Okay, first and foremost, let's take a look at the numbers on this unit. This has a gross vehicle weight rating of 7,850 pounds. In my opinion, this is three quarter ton truck towable. This isn't something I'd pull behind a half ton truck. 3,500 pound axles, so you have 7,000 pounds worth of axle capacity. You're gonna have roughly 800 pounds sitting on the back of your truck, and that kind of comes off of your gross vehicle weight rating in terms of what's sitting on the axles. 15 inch D-rated tires, and this has a cargo capacity of 1,222 pounds. Really cool, since we're here next to this little hatch. Wow, that's, that is an interesting way to utilize space that otherwise wouldn't be utilized. But very, very cool RV here. From the outside, has a front fiberglass cap with the front window as well. Nice power tongue jack, dual propane cans, has electric stabilization down here at the bottom. You have your city water connection and fresh water connections right here. You have a really nice long slide here. Both of these slides are rack and pinion slides. You have your outside shower and a 50 amp connection here, which means this probably has twin air conditioning units, cable and satellite connection, and your black tank flush. Coming down here, this rides on torsion axles. So that is really cool and that is unexpected. Tires, I'm not a big fan of their Castle Rock tires. They'll probably last you a couple thousand miles, but the torsion suspension I am definitely a fan of. You can see that this also utilizes a eight inch I-beam frame and they have a spacer beneath it for the torsion axles, but also to lift the unit up a little bit so you get a little bit more height to it, easier to level with these modern day taller trucks. You have your sewer connection here, and then you have another sewer connection right back there. Again, rack and pinion slides, both front and rear. This does not utilize frameless windows. Even though this is a relatively high-end travel trailer in terms of amenities and some of the things they've done, in some cases you're starting to see less frameless windows on units simply because this gives you more of the ability to get airflow cross ventilation coming through your unit. Let's see if this is open going to be your bed and you can see you have plenty of storage underneath there i love the fact that they give you outside access to it coming around this way nice led lighting on the back you have your tire here mounted to the bumper as well as wired for a furion wireless backup camera all led lighting up there and a full walk-on roof with ladder already attached Coming around to this side, you'll see that it has a very long awning. Looks to be a 20 foot long awning. You have two entrances. This one will take you into your bedroom and this one takes you into the main living area. You have a nice compact outside kitchen here. No sink, however, it is really interesting how this is laid out. You have a cooktop right here. Then you have kind of a prep station right here, which is interesting. And then you have your micro refrigerator right here. So they've been able to kind of accomplish quite a bit in a relatively small area. Model number on this is the 260 FKBS. Very, very cool unit. You can see it has flip down solid steps for both the front and the rear. Coming around this way. This is gonna be the outside of your furnace and that's the outside of your water heater. This little solar charge connector right here, this is designed to trickle charge your batteries off of solar. So if you have a couple panels that you can plug into it whenever it's in storage or you're at the campground, you can make sure that your batteries are topped off, especially in a boondocking situation. If you're connected to shore power, it's gonna charge your batteries regardless. But if you're not connected to shore power, that can come in really handy. Coming around this way, let's step inside of this 260 FKBS. So as we go inside, I'm gonna quickly kind of pan around the interior so you can see what's going on in this kitchen and living room area. All right, so let's start here in the kitchen. First of all, I love the fact that this has a 12 volt refrigerator and it's the larger 12 volt refrigerator. So coming around, look inside, there's plenty of room. This is a 10 cubic foot refrigerator. There's a little stopper right here to keep the doors from opening up whenever you're traveling. 
as well as a three burner gas cooktop with nice oven. Lots of countertop space here. That is a great thing to see. Tons of countertop space, as well as this really cool flap that folds down and covers up the window if you want to block light. You have a window on this side. You have a nice big window up front. Nice skylight up top. Cabinetry here. More cabinetry here. And you also have a little bit of room for utensils and things in the drawers. Plus a small little pantry area right here. Coming around here, you can see you have a really nice residential style freestanding dinette. I love the way this looks. This is really nice. You can see four people here and two people here. But check this out. Look at the tones. Very nice neutral tones. Everything looks really, really nice in terms of how it blends in and a much more modern color scheme. Coming around to the living room area, you can see the use of theater seating. I love it when they put the cup holders side by side. Gives you more room with that armrest. I think people appreciate that. And they point directly at the 40-inch TV. So that's also really nice. You have direct visibility. You have a beautiful panoramic fireplace beneath it, your entertainment center. Coming over here, you have even more storage. And this is very deep storage. So you have additional closet storage here, and you have shelf storage right here. But this is absolutely beautiful. They just got this unit in, so you know, you're going to see little things like that. It needs to still be vacuumed out. Taking a look down here is your control panel. I do wish they would have mounted the control panel up higher, only because if you have really small children, you don't want them to walk up to that and start pressing buttons and pulling the slides in and things like that. So that's probably my only gripe at this point. If they would have mounted it up here, I think that would have been better. Taking a look past your entertainment. You have a nice door here and it's angled, so it's hard to tell in the video, but it is on an angled wall. As you go in here, you're going to walk through the bathroom area. It has a good ceiling height, probably about 6'3". Now, whenever you step up into the shower area, if you're really tall, you might not have a lot of room. So that's something to keep in mind. But travel trailers in general will usually have kind of a shorter profile to the ceiling. Nice sink area. Your toilet's down here. It is a porcelain toilet. Really nice. Something you don't see in a lot of travel trailers. Nice cabinetry back here. Plenty of room for whatever you need to throw back here. Looks to be about 15 inches deep. Let's work our way past into the bedroom area. I was not expecting a king size bed. So that is really nice to have a king size bed in this unit. Yeah, some storage above. I think there might be some nightstands here. Nope, no nightstands on this unit. You have another air conditioning unit back here as well. They're all fully ducted, and then you have closet storage here. So you have really nice closet storage, and it's probably about 13, 14 inches deep. Nice hanging rod up top, and you have plenty of drawers beneath it to, you know, put your socks and other things in. Coming back around, kind of pan around this bedroom so you can see what it's all about. Working our way back up to the living room. This has a really nice interior. I really like the fact that they're utilizing theater seating here. I love the fact that it looks directly at the TV. I really like this open nature right here. There's only two slides on this unit, but it gives you a tremendous amount of floor space in here. So if you have kids with you, it's great for that. This is a really nice unit for entertaining because you can fit six people in a seated position in the living room area and the kitchen area, which is nice. Again, 12 volt refrigerator, lots of benefits to that, other than the fact that if you plan on dry camping for a long period of time, you need to have some way to keep your batteries topped off because these drain directly off of your batteries. Great size to them as well. And then you have your other air conditioning system up here, which is also ducted. Nice lighting fixtures. This is just a really nice unit. Now they don't have the price posted yet, but the owner told me that these units are gonna go for the mid to low 30s and have an MSRP in the high 40s. So that's not really a bad price at all. Again, three quarter ton towable. I wouldn't put this behind a half ton truck. This is a pretty heavy unit, relatively long and relatively tall for a half ton truck. If you plan on towing it with a half ton truck, just do it safely. Make sure you have the right half ton with the right package just to ensure that you are safe, your family's safe, and everyone else on the road is safe. 
Anyways, guys, I sure hope you enjoyed this video. I really like this RV. This is a really nice travel trailer. If you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, hit that subscribe button, give me a thumbs up, because I love bringing these videos to you, and that lets me know that you like seeing them, and I'll talk to you again very soon.